Hello. Now today we are here in our little backyard, which is our some part of our homestead. I already harvest some of our mints here, different mint. Uh, the normal mint, it's the, I always say it's the mother. Then we have peppermint here. It's already in here. I have the long one here, which is orange mint. What we want to try, we want to try to put all the different mints together and dry them and make a mint tea blend out of it. We don't know how it tastes, but oops, now I'm losing my mint, but we want to try it. If it's good, it will be in our product line, I promise. Just one more mint I missed, which is here pineapple mint. So now we have all the different kinds of mint in here and I will go ahead and dry it in our preparation, preparation area and show you how it works. Okay, follow me, see you there. So here we are in our preparation area. And as I said, I want to put all the delicious leaves from different kinds of mints. <laughs> I always call this my oven. <laughs> and <laughs> just put all the leaves on the racks. I'm not putting them too full, so they have more space to dry out. If you pack it like this, it takes ages to dry out the peppermint leaves or any other herbs I'm doing and drying. In the oven, and the next one. Not so full, as I said. So, this is everything what we harvest right now. As I said, I just want to make a little uh, bit of this tea to see if it tastes and if I'm able, or I think it would taste you as well. And then we're going out again with a bigger harvest from all of our men. So, we close it. We started with 95 Fahrenheit. And I want to keep it in there for nine hours and let it do his job. <clears throat> this area, it's just a little sneak peek or what do you say? We will remodel our shop in the next couple of months. We will not close, we're still open, but our preparation area called kitchen will be in the back of the store and you will be amazed. So if you see the newest video by, I would say around summer, this will be a completely different thing. And even if you come into our shop, you can see if you want to, or ask me, can I see live how you're doing this and this? Yes, we can, of course, because I have more space and all the dried herbs they are everywhere at the moment will be showing to you. Okay, see you soon. Hello and welcome back. Now the time is here and all our mint leaves out of the oven are dry. And you remember, there are different kind of mint. We are trying something. So you're watching an experience <laughs> of taste. So let me just put all of the mint leaves in here. And you can also if you don't want to dry your leaves, you can also use the fresh leaves from your, you know, from our backyard, from our little homestead and make yourself a nice cup of tea with fresh mint. So the only thing what you should do when you use fresh mints, you take three, four leaves for a cup of co uh, coffee, a cup of tea and you slice them. So all the goodies are going out faster and better with the fresh leaves. 
So the dry leaves, as I said, I will crunch them like this. If we would put it in the grinder, it would be pulver, pulver, powder. <laughs> and we don't want powder for the tea, that doesn't taste. So, mm, it smells like mint. <laughs> Like all the different mints. I would say this is the way you can use it then. And we have here a tea pot with a strainer inside. And I'm just taking a good amount, but we are doing the whole teapot for tasting. So for a cup of tea, you don't need so much. You just need a little bit. But this is our testing. So put it back in. Hot water. You see the color already? Amazing, look at this. Look at the color already. Yellowish. So, let's put the lid on it and we let it sit for about five minutes and then I'm coming back and then you are live with us when we taste the special mint blend we don't know how it tastes. Okay, see you soon. So, the five minutes are over. Look at the golden color. So, and in the meantime, because I was talking about it, I cut some leaves, fresh leaves, and I want to show you what you can do here. Just hot water. And again, let it sit for at least five minutes. At least more, I would say it's better because they are fresh. But back to our beautiful tea. We don't know if it's beautiful yet. What I'm always doing, I'm putting some honey in it. Raw honey. As you know, if you put the raw honey in too hot liquid, all the goodiness is. So this tea is here for at least five, 10 minutes. So it's not really boiled water. And I just put some, that's a, oh, you should smell it. And no, we are not selling it. That's our goodies. <laughs> so here we are. Let's give him a try. The color is really, really pretty. We will see how the taste is. As we said, it's an experience. We'll stir it around. And this one takes a while. And the point is when I try it and it doesn't taste to my tongue, you see it on my face. <laughs> because I cannot say, mm, delicious when it's not, for my taste. So, looks like wine. Smells like mint. Okay, five different mints. That's good. That's really good. Cameraman, you want to try it? <laughs> I will tell you his face. He said, yeah, so that means delicious. You can taste nearly all the different kinds of mint. It's not the pure peppermint taste. It's also, also the peppermint, the mint, the orange mint. Um, I don't even know what, what else do we have. Peppermint, mint, spearmint, orange mint, pineapple mint. So that's the five we have in here. It tastes really good, um, but we still have to talk about um, if we really take it in our product line or not. But the experience, and you saw how you can make your own tea from your fresh leaves, dry it, make your tea, or make it like this, which takes a long time. It's good. We like it, but we didn't make the decision if we want to put it in a product line or not. Okay? So, I hope you all enjoyed this. How to make, so step by step, how to grow and make your mint tea or mint blend. 
I hope you like it and please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, bye bye, ciao ciao, love and light. Your Ute. Ciao ciao.